Turn the regular viewers of the Power Hour will be well aware of new Guns N' Roses video, Welcome to the Jungle, a track from the band's latest Appetite for Destruction album. And Guns N' Roses from Los Angeles appear to be the name on the tip of everyone's tongue at the moment, including mine, but I have good reason because I'm joined at the minute by two members of the band, and two guitarists, Slash and Izzy. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Now you've just completed, I think, your, your debut European tour. You started somewhere in Europe, didn't you, Slash? We started in um, Newcastle. <clears throat> we went from Newcastle to Nottingham to uh, Manchester and then Bristol and then we came back to London. And so we did like five days that so were all really killer. Mm. So Izzy, you, you finished last night at the Hammersmith Odeon. Yeah. But only, only in June you were playing the marquee. It's a massive step up, isn't it? Did you expect to be that successful that quickly here? Uh, well, you don't. And I anticipate it so much, but you know, I hope for the best. I mean, the marquee shows were great and it's like, I was, after that, you know, it's like, I was standing on the stage just taken. I was just amazed that we were there. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Had you heard about the marquee before you came over? Did you know about the, the club? marquee? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A band like us is, you know, is pretty much hip to most of the cool stuff that there is to do for a band, you know, because you always have something to anticipate. So. Well, Izzy, your your first album, Appetite for Destruction, got very good reviews. But I understand there was a little bit of controversy regarding the photograph or the, the painting, in fact, that was on the sleeve. What was the situation with that? Um, well, it was just a, it was a postcard, you know, yeah. it's like, if they don't get it, I mean, I, you know, we got a flack uh, because of whatever this girl's tits hanging out or something, half, it wasn't even hanging out. Well, her tits are hanging out. I think they didn't I like it. I think it was half a scratch. It was scratch. <laughs> you had to but change they, it, didn't you? There's eventually. no heavy meaning behind it, it was yeah. just a postcard that Axel picked up in a, a card shop in Hollywood, and um, we just liked the artwork, you know. People are always so eager to put labels on things. You know, so you know, there was really no <laughs> significant reasons, you know, except for it was a cool painting. Yeah. You know, there was no there was no discriminatory thing about it, you know, as far as women were concerned or you know, anything like that. It was just a painting that looked really cool and looked real dynamic and it was it was like who wanted to sit for two hours and think about what was gonna be the cover of some picture, oh, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> Let's use that. Jesus. That way, and, and and then it said "Life um, Appetite for Destruction" mm. on the bottom, and we said, and we don't even have to think about the title either. It's just <laughs> fine. It's perfect. Well, that, that was on the postcard already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you because know, I mean, title. I could see us sitting around for two months trying to figure out, you know, what we were going to call the record <laughs> and what was going to be on the cover, and I, I didn't, you know. That would have been a nightmare. Okay, well, we've spoken about the cover. Let's talk about what's inside the cover, the music. There's lots That's of different... Sleeve. <laughs> yes, the sleeve. And inside <laughs> the sleeve, we come to the record, and on the record, there's music. Now, lots of different influences, I would say, in Guns N' Roses, is they? I mean, yeah. what, what back... Is it British bands influence you? Is it punk bands? Oh, it's, God, so many things, you know. Uh, just anything that moves you, you know. <laughs> some kind of... Yeah, it's... I mean, emotion or something. To go from one end of the spectrum to the other, from, you know, like... I mean, really, literally, like classical stuff, all the way up to like the hardest core punk, and then everything in between. Anything that sounds cool. So you were actually born over in England. Yeah, in Spanish, I was born here in London, and I lived in Stoke and Trent for about eleven years. And we almost drove through there. You know, and I, and my grandparents haven't seen me since then. <laughs> and I, I was thinking about calling them, but then I thought I didn't want to be. Uh, responsible for anything. Are your grandparents aware of what you're doing now? They haven't seen me since I was 11. Do you think it would be a shock for them? Probably not, because the rest of my family is pretty wacko. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's take a look at you and Izzy and the rest of the band on video. This is a track we've already mentioned. It's Welcome to the Jungle. Welcome to the Jungle from Guns N' Roses, who, as I've already mentioned, come from Los Angeles. Slash, do you feel that you actually fit into the Los Angeles scene? Are you happy out there? Not anymore. No? <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't fit in when the band first started. We didn't fit in you know, ever. It was always like there was L.A. and then there was the five of us sort of crawling around <laughs> in the dark. You know? Yeah, it's not that we fit in. It's just that we, um, uh, let's say, in in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is like one of those places that, like I guess, like any other big city, but even more so, it's got a lot of. It's real trendy and it goes through fads and it goes through all this stuff. And so it was always real hard to, to say, like, we're an L.A. band because L.A. bands always, you know, always meant, like, this one little band for one particular time that everybody was into because mm -hmm. it was a particular fad, yeah. you know. And so we were never like that. We were just us, and, and we really stuck out compared to everything else. And we were, I was really surprised that we went over as big as, you know, as we did. But it's just because we were really real about the whole thing, and people pick up on that no matter how goofy they are. Still Dante.